Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I have a quick tip for Redshift today, and we're gonna talk about how to render out your scene so that you can relight it in After Effects. And there's a lot of different reasons you would want to do this, but I'm gonna show you the technique and then you can use your imagination for how this might work for you. So I have this scene with a bunch of different lights. I have a spotlight, a point light, an area light, and they're all different colors, just so I can show you this process. And what we can do is render all these lights out separately, and then we can change them in After Effects. And it's a lot easier just to show you what I mean by doing it. So we'll go into one of these lights, and under the Details tab, we have this section called Light Group. So we can add this light to its own light group by twirling this down and clicking Add New Light Group. And let's call this One. And if we do this for the next one, we can twirl this down, we can add it to one, but I want these all to be on their separate layers. So we'll go ahead and make a new one and call that two, go to our other light, and we'll twirl that down, add a new group, call it three, and we'll do this on the last one, add a new group and call it four. All right, so every light in our scene now has its own AOV light group. So let's set up the render settings here. And in the render settings, I have multi-pass set up with a EXR so that it will render all these passes. And then in Redshift settings under AOV, we can click the Show AOV Manager and let's add a beauty pass. In that beauty pass, we have this light group section and because we added all these to our lights, we now have four different light groups. So if we check one, then this layer that is rendered will include all the lights with layer number one. So let's just hit Control C and Control V to make another copy. We'll change this one to two, we'll do the same thing. And on this one, we'll change it to three. And for the final one, we'll change that to four. All right, so now we will have four multi-passes with the four different light groups. So now let's just hit render. Now that that's rendered, we'll jump into After Effects and we'll import that EXR. Here's the EXR and we'll drag that into a new composition. Here's our render. You can see that we have one layer and we need to extract the four different light groups from this layer. We're gonna do that using a plugin called Extractor, which is free. That's under Effect, it's under 3D Channel and Extractor. And in here, if we just click in this little space, it'll pop up a window. The layers came in a little bit weird, but if uh, I click on beauty one underscore two, that is the right one. Now you can see that we have that one light on the top. Let's duplicate this layer. Let's go into here. Let's go to that layers and let's go down to two underscore three. And this one will be that left light that's blue. We're gonna do the same thing, just duplicate. We'll go into three, four, and that will be the right light, which is a little bit more orange. And let's do it for the final one, which is, I believe the bottom one. Yep, that's the uh, spotlight that's a little bit purple. All right, let's take all four of these and let's change the blending mode to add. And if we do that, it's going to blend all of them together. All right, so we did all that work, but now the beauty is that we can control all of these individually. So if we go to the opacity, you can see that we can turn off or on that spotlight, which is incredible. Now we have control over all four different lights in After Effects. And this is super powerful for a few different reasons. First of all, we can change the colors. So you could go to Hue Saturation and you can actually hit Colorize and play with the color of that light in After Effects, which is pretty incredible. If you uh, wanna change the power of that light, you could also do levels. So we could do levels or curves and we can play around with the actual intensity of that light. So one use case that a lot of people do is they will take this light and they'll put an expression on it so that it will blink or flicker, or they will write an expression so that it's linked up to a soundtrack if you're doing concert visuals. So we'll go to our opacity and we'll hit alter option and then we'll click it to make an expression. And a really simple one is just wiggle parentheses and then we'll do say five times a second comma and we'll do 100% and then we'll close it and that will be a very simple expression so that this light will blink. So we can uh, speed that up quite a bit if we wanted to. We can make that uh, 25 times, Let's see what that looks like. And if we add that expression to all of them, you can see that we have a really interesting flickering, kind of a moody scene here. And the great thing is there's a lot of flexibility. So for instance, that green is kind of annoying. If we just go to that layer, type in hue saturation, we can take the saturation way down. And now we have that recolored and it's a lot less obnoxious. So tons of flexibility if you wanna link this up so that it strobes with a soundtrack or just work on your lighting in After Effects. This is how you would do it, setting up those light groups in Redshift. I hope you guys found that useful. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.